we have. Okay, um, I will start. It'll be okay. Six o'clock is when we will be opening the meeting. Okay, have you guys got your agenda in front of you? Yes. Correct. Yep. Okay, I'm going to change that around a little bit. <laughs> All right. First, but the first thing we're going to do is uh, we have to um, reappoint a chairman. David, you there? I'm here. Okay. We got to re reappoint the chairman. I'll second that. Did you? Did he? Did you David give my name? <laughs> David, did he give my name? <laughs> I, okay. I vote George. Okay. All those in favor? Yes. I. 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 Okay. So I am officially the chairman for one more year. Okay. Um, that was because I was asked to stay on by somebody in the big office. <laughs> okay. The Ooh. next thing we're going to do. Um, have you got your minutes from the uh, last one? Yes. Can, we do, can we read those and um, get those ready to okay them? Uh, I'll give everybody else like 30 seconds, but I motion to approve the minutes. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Aye. Okay. So voted. Okay. That has been done. Okay. Is um, somebody from... Um, Van Dyke there? Have you seen anybody from Van Dyke in there yet? Paul just jumped in. Yeah. From... Paul just jumped in. Okay, that's the guy we want to talk to. <laughs> there you are, Paul. I see you. Hi. Okay. So uh, we, we're going to start with what? The, the one over on um, 130 Gray Road? Is that how it's set up on our... Yes, 130 Gray Road is the yep. first one. We're going to do one. Yeah, we're going to do Gray Road first. So, um, would you like to tell us exactly what's been done, or has anybody done anything over there yet to get the um, stuff started? No. Um, he would like to start installing silt fence tomorrow, but uh, let me uh, want me to share my uh, screen here. Hey, you're, there. Just, you're up. I see you. Okay. That's uh, a, yeah, okay. Because I had told him two weeks ago he could start putting himself in, but apparently he forgot about it. Um, okay. Is okay, there I'm going to huh? I'm gonna try and share this screen here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Uh, let's see. Share screen. There it is. Ah, oh, there it is. It was there. That work all right? I don't know. I wanna. I I, I lost everything. Yeah. No. Hang on. Say that. Yep. Yeah. I got. I got it. Yep. There we are. Okay. Can everybody see it? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, if you may remember, it's been a while. Anyways, um, right. he ended up buying this piece. We started this process. I don't know, maybe six or seven months ago. The right. the owner at the time uh, backed off, and so we had filed an NOI, but it just went on hold. So. Uh, right. Jamie or Barclay Enterprises, he, he bought the property. And this is essentially the same plan. Uh, the only difference is uh, from the meeting you had had back in uh, several months ago, there was some concern about, um, you know, controlling the water, which runs out of the uh, pond. So basically we've got the house up front on the left side of the lot. Right. We have this pond here that's got some, um, it's got some wetlands going up gradient uh, of it. And the, in order to uh, do a septic, we have to get way down here. So we've got a, uh, a long gravity 
flow down to the leach field down here, which is like 300 and uh, 390 feet away. So we've got mm -hmm. a bunch of clean outs on it. And what we've done is we put erosion controls all around the house down here. Once we get to this point, we're on the down gradient side of the, uh, the wetlands. So nothing we do here is going to get up to the pond. So we didn't put any silt fence here. There was a question about the controlling the water flow out. So what we did was uh, we've got a uh, swale here. We put a uh, riprap right here. Um, you can see from the contours, this is where the water would, uh, would, would normally go. Mm -hmm. And then on the, um, the side, beside the swale, we've got a, uh, a two foot a two foot berm to keep the water. So instead of the water going directly off uh, to the abutter, it'll now come down and stay on our property. Okay. Um, we are crossing the wetlands here, but it's a very small, it's about a hundred square feet. And, you know, after the, after the pipes put in here, it's gonna be sleeved when it goes across. So if anything happened to the pipe, say, um, the pipe could actually be removed without ever having to touch the wetlands. Um, so uh, that will be restored once the, uh, once the line is uh, installed. So Paul, I have a question. Uh, is it like a lot more money to do something like a tight tank? Something like a what? Tight tank. A tight, a tight tank? tank? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not. Tight tanks aren't allowed. Um, oh. If you have a system in failure and you cannot put a system in, mm -hmm. um, then you can request a tight tank. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Good to, to know. But you, you have to, you have to try. Um, they don't like to give even for repairs. They don't like, they don't like tight tanks. You have to, even if you have to ask for ten waivers, they'd rather you do that. Uh, but anyways, for new construction, you can't, you just can't do it. Okay. So it's, I mean, most of our work is, you know, it's outside of the 50 foot, uh, here's the 50 foot wetland offset and the same going around here, that's the 50 foot. So, uh, we've got work within a hundred, but, um, not much other than the crossing here within 50. Any other questions? I think you've covered it. No questions from me. Questions from you, none from me, not, no more from Amanda. You're off um, that. Well, I am wondering how many trees are you going to be taking out? Cause that'll influence that water <laughs> flow down that hill too. Where, well, I guess more importantly is where you're creating the swale and berm where that runoff is happening that the neighbor complained about. Question, I'm sorry. Is the, the riprap swale in berm, that's where the runoff is currently happening? Yes, well, it was okay. going, we're, we're directing it onto directing our property. It, it would go, right. it was going off the property right here. Right. So this right. will keep so us on sure. our site. Yeah, it was it was running down the hill on the barrier. Okay. Yeah, that's we, it. Yeah. So that this will take care of what he said he's doing. He's going to prevent it from going down that hill. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I make a motion to uh, approve the NOI. I get a second. I'll second it. Yeah, all those in favor? Yes. Aye. Yes. Aye. Yes. So voted. Uh, closing the hearing at 6.08. Okay. Let me dig out the next paper. Okay. All right. The next one is going to be the one that we went and looked at the other day out on. Um, we want to call that uh, Hubbiston Street, Hubbiston Road, the one that um, we looked at, and they, he sent us those revisions today. Did you yes. get the revisions? 
there anything else we want to see or, or sneak that up there? Can you sneak that up there or not? No. Uh, yes, I believe so. Because <laughs> Vinny wasn't with us, so he, he he won't know what we were talking about. Wait, what, what we did, Vinny, we had him move the house uh, about 10 feet and some of the um, wetland areas to redo. Okay. Okay, so um, the house, push the, uh, push the house back. I had to move the leach field just a little further to the north in order to move the house back. Um, and I added some additional, I noticed uh, there were no silt fence, uh, additional silt fencing around the proposed well, so we added that. Um, and we added our replication area here adjacent to the driveway and the wetlands here. We 700 square feet and I removed I had a pipe on the plan before I moved it and I'm just saying uh, that the existing culvert is there's one here currently and there's one here and uh, I'm just going to let those um, this has got the ability to pond up a little if it needs to we won't have to touch any of that and I added a detail a replication detail for the wetlands here and I also submitted a, uh, a document. Um, On the type of um, plants. Right, about the, about the plantings and invasive species and, and things like that. Okay. Um, That's right here. That's right here. Uh, um, any other Right now, it's here somewhere. Uh, yeah, here it is. Um, it's basically, uh, the requirements, the spacings, um, suggested uh, saplings, shrub, and herbaceous. Uh, that's your invasives, planting times, and I put a sketch here. Showing, uh, you know, how to spread the the shrubs and the saplings and the uh, and the ferns around. Okay. Hey, does anybody have any questions for Paul? Any questions? No. No. Hey. I make a motion to approve the NOI as submitted. Uh, what, I have one thing to say first. Okay. Okay. Paul, oh, all those old silk fencing and stuff, they going to remove those? Yeah, those should be removed. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure it's going to be on the uh, on on the uh, notice and debt. So you know, on okay. the order of conditions, it's going to be on there. All right, sounds good. Okay, and that's all I have to say, I guess. All right, we got, we've had an okay to uh, accept, and somebody second it? I'll second the motion. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 So accepted. You're all set, Paul. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. And it is closing this meeting, and uh, this one is 6 13 p.m. All right. We're halfway there. What do we got over here? Is the um, person for Caruth Road Day yet? Joined us? You don't know? I don't see anybody. Um... Do we know if anybody called in? Oh yeah, he, he was notified. 
And I also no notified Sean. Right, right. Sean hmm. didn't show up yet either. Okay. Okay. Well, let's put that aside then and give him about 15 minutes. And then we'll go on to the other couple of items we have to do. Um, okay. Is everybody there for lots three and four? Yes, I'm here. Oh, if you are on two screens, if you mute one of them, that'll help with the echo. Yeah, his yeah, is his muted. Is muted. Yeah. <laughs> Andy okay. P also turns his volume off. Yeah, the volume is did Jazzy, did Jazzy I'm come in? I'm stopping his video. video. That didn't work either. You're going to have to just shut it off. Where is my volume? Hold on. Hold on. I got it. All right. All right. Sorry I about that. I do not see Jazzy, although I was in their office Friday and did like notify them. So <laughs> in addition to the email, they should. Okay, so you don't know if she's around available either. Basically the one that was in with Carter and you and. Yeah. All right, so you want to discuss this? Do sure, wanna... Jen, do you want to give us an overview? Yes. All right, cool, let Jen do it. George? So. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to excuse myself for this. I'm in the butter. That's fine. Thank okay. you. Bye, Dave. I'm still here. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Oh, no. So, that is six, I'm sorry, 6 15 p.m. Okay. We got that sorted out. Um, oh, so yeah, I, we're working back. Let's see. That's all right. Okay. So here's where we are is. Um, John Goya at the state level, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, I've been working with him back and forth to get the conservation restriction where it needs to be um, in terms of the language used, the model used, et cetera. So we've only got a couple remaining things before um, he can finalize the paperwork. So number okay. one would be, um, the review from the Templeton Conservation Commission to confirm whether or not any changes are needed to the document. So if everything looks good to you, we just need to know that so that we can go back to the state and let them know. Um, number two is that um, John is requesting that we get a baseline report done on the area that would be impacted by the conservation restriction. Um, and in talking with Jassy um, and in talking with Jassy, she advised that we cannot pay for that independently. We would need to either go through you or go through North County Land Trust. Um, now we're happy to fund it so that we can get it done. Um, we've waited a solid three and a half years to own our house and we'd really like to get there. Um, but um, we, we can't actually request the baseline report because it would be a conflict of interest. So. First and foremost, we need to know whether or not the documentation is satisfactory to you, whether or not you'd like us to um, put in any changes uh, before we send it back to the state. Um, and the second part is the baseline report. Okay. Um, I understand Mr. Carter does not want to accept it. I don't know. He was talking to Jazzy. I, he's not talking to me. I have no idea where that stands. Do you, um, do you um, Amanda? I have not heard specifically what he wants. Um, he's, Just, um, I think he doesn't want the town to own any more lands because we do right. own a substantial portion. Um, a conservation conservation restriction, however, is not us owning the land. It's it just, is. we make sure that it stays ecologically healthy for the town. And I, I think he doesn't understand that. I think if, yeah. if you guys can get together with him all of you at the same time, I don't know how that's going to be possible, but um, and get that straightened out. Tell him we are not owning the land. We are only doing the, um, what do you want to say, policing? <laughs> Is that the word you want to use, policing? Or just making sure that the regulations are... So George, it does have to go through a select board vote to yeah. approve the gift to the Conservation Commission. So what we just do is we say that the wording looks good and we authorize North County Land Trust to do the baseline assessment. Okay, fine. 
and then the select board decide if they want to um, accept it. Okay, so do we want to put that in the form of a motion? Sure, I motion that um, the verbiage in the um, Farnsworth Road conservation restriction looks okay, and that um, the co host, I think it's called, North County Land Trust can do the baseline assessment. Okay. Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 David can't vote. Vinny, yes, no? I lost everybody. Vinny. Yeah, yes. Yes, okay. Amanda? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, three of us that are here, it's, it's an okay thing to do. All right. It has been approved. We would do that again and um, work with more Jazzy and with um, Jen. Now, now that I, I, Jen Smith, now I remember. The other gentleman. No, you're right. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I have a person who's also a Jen Smith that is related in town. <laughs> okay. okay. So, She's okay. Not me. <laughs> is, is that okay with you? It's fine with me. And so, just to clarify the next step, um, do we go back? So, John had said that we go back to him at the, as the next step uh, yes. and confirm things before we go to the select board of the town. But I don't know how things work correctly here. So, you guys tell me: Do we take this to the town, to the select board, and have them approve the documentation as well before I go back to the state, or do I go back to the state first? Well, um, <laughs> in my time that I've been on time, you have to go through Carter. He has to make sure you get put on put on the select board meeting. Okay. So that is. That is the issue. <laughs> if you can get him to okay putting you on the select board meeting. Ooh, all right. Okay. Then I, I I wholeheartedly agree with you. I recommend you also um, carbon copy Adam, the assistant town administrator, oh, yeah. on that email because he has some conservation experience. So Definitely. Okay. Yes, definitely make sure Adam gets a hold of it because... Uh, He's easy to talk with, with on certain items, and this is one of them. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jenna. I appreciate it. All right. Good Thanks time. very much, everyone. I good appreciate luck. your time. Okay, Have a good thank one. You. Bye -bye. Bye. Okay. Meeting is done at 6.23 p.m. Okay. Um, let's see. Where are we going to go next? Oh, yes. Department of Public. Hmm. Public Works, our OCC. We'll open that up at 6, uh, 6.22. Um, now, basically, has everybody had a chance to read this? I don't know if Dave has or Vinny. We, we used to have one, uh, basically the same one. I remember most of what was in it. And it's basically written the same way. And like I told Bob at Highway, we will look at it, approve it, and send it to the selectmen for their approval to make sure that there's nothing in there that they want to change, if that's okay with the board here. I think that's a great way to go about it because there is a lot in here, so. There is, and um, yeah. you know, I think, you know, once we've located it, then we, then we, we send it to board of selectmen and uh, let them go through it and have them, if they want to make any changes, let us know and stuff like that. Yeah. So this is basically what we have already buried in the cell. So we just got to, and it's been at least seven years since we've gone over these, and this is a great way of getting a new set in there. It'll be good. Yeah, like, especially uh, with the new um, new head of DPW. And right, and and he's, he works with me and he's willing to work on anything we can get done. Oh, uh, which is good. Him and I do a lot of things together. He call, he calls me, him and I go for walks and rides together, look at driveways and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, and that's, so, that's the way the board should be working. It used to be that way, but uh, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, can I get in uh, somebody's uh, 
I will make the motion to conditionally accept the NOI for the DPW provided uh, the Board of Selectmen has no issues with it. Okay. All those in favor? I'll say that. Aye. Yeah. Yes. Aye. So voted. 6.25 p.m. Now, I don't know how we're going to get a hold of this other person. I figured he would be here by now. Oh, what do we do in this case, whereas he's not here? Do you want to talk about the um, Depot Pond Dam, Baldwin Water? Oh, Dam? yeah. Why, why don't we go to the Depot Pond Dam next? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. So there's nobody named Julian on your board there yet, right? Okay. Okay. Now, okay, the Depot Pond Dam, I'd forgotten all about that. Did you get it, go go back to look at it again? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yep. That's it. I will open this up at 626. Yesterday? Um, no, the day we did the site walks. Wait, that we went up to Depot? Yeah. yeah. What mm -hmm. day did we do the site walks? When... Last, last Wednesday. 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 Okay, so last Wednesday we went and looked at it, and there was okay. no further debris. Okay. Yeah. Well, had they already gone, they may have already gone and we cleaned it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like they've been out there to clean it. So. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, so basically, that's all we had to talk about. So I guess the next time, basically, who's going to clean it? Who's going to pay for it? Not our issue. He goes to towns. Yes, Vinny. Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm just. Oh, your name I'm came up. Oh. I'm here. Okay. okay. That was right. reading. Oh, you're reading? <laughs> okay. All right. Um... <sighs> I do not have. What's his name? Phone number. Let's see if he's going to call in. Do we need a motion on anything for the bond? No. No, no, just that we have <laughs> talked about it. So nothing has to be done with that. We we'll just keep it there for further information. Um, by a Caruth Road. We have nobody here. Oh. Huh? Um, I was looking to see if I had a phone number to find out where he went. So I don't know why he wouldn't have been here. Um, would we like to um, table the motion until next meeting? Or do we want to just discuss it and... Well, the, I, I would like to discuss it and see what we can do with it, but okay. without them being here to answer nine questions that I have. Um, oh, right, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you give me a minute and I'll call him and see if I can get them. This Julian from New England Design, find out where he is. Okay, hang on. Oh, Julian just popped up. Oh, okay. I was just getting ready wow. to pop his numbers in. Okay. Okay, it is now 629. And we would discuss uh, Eight Caruth Road. Julian, you there? Oh. Hello. Are you there? I am. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead. You can. So we'll let you start and tell us what you're doing. Uh, we're looking to build a single-family home on the uh, the property. We we have our uh, we created a lot that meets all the zoning. The wetlands um, are on looking from the street. The wetlands are to the left of the property. We're bringing our drive. We're not filling any wetlands. We're not working in any wetlands, we're only in the buffer zone. It's a okay. uh, single family home. Uh, as you saw when we did the site walk, the, where the flags were, where 
we were off to the side of them. Um, the septic's been approved already by the Board of Health um, without actually, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, single family home on a lot. Lot. Been over it. All right, keep it going. I'm listening. That's what Julian, we got if going. you want to hold on just one sec, George has some questions right. for you. Okay. Here he goes. I don't know. I don't know if you've got that list. list that I, I, do. I do. I do. Oh, okay. That's all I want to find. Okay. So, uh, we have some questions for you. Okay. And, uh, I guess uh, if you want to uh, let them know, start reading them, Amanda. I got to find my copy. Sure. I actually ended up with two copies in my packet, so it, there's a potential that someone's missing them. We did well, also have... get this in our emails. So. Well, that's who you're uh, the person. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, fine. Put it there. So the first question is, um, what's the limit of disturbance in feet to the wetlands? Um, what for them? So, yeah. We're not touching any of them. We're not doing anything in the wetland. We got to we got some boulders right along the edge to, to protect it so that nothing will go down towards the wetlands along the edge of the driveway. Right, yes, I see that. So, what is the, how far away is the boulders from the edge of the wetland? It looks like it's right there, right? It's pretty close. Okay. We could we could probably keep them like five feet away because uh, I made the driveway to be a turn, a drive under, so we had a little bit more of a of a turnaround, but it's it's a little bigger than we needed. I think we can get like five feet of untouched and stop the boulders. And it's a nice flat area there, so it's not like we're fighting a slope. Right. So how far away is the house itself from the from the wetlands? Uh, you know? I mean, hang on. Okay. It's, well, that's 24 feet. That's, it's probably uh, close to 50 feet. Because the garage is 24. If you're looking at the at the, um, I'm looking at the screen here, on, on um, going one of your plans. The garage is it's a 24 foot garage drive under. Uh, 24. Yeah, probably about 35 feet. So those boulders that I have right along the wetland, where that little projection comes out near wetland flag number 13, right. we could slide those closer to the driveway, right. and still have an adequate turnaround. Yeah, I see that. Okay. And it's very so flat. One. Everything else is very flat. I've graded it so that we didn't have anything, you know, really steep towards the wetlands. And the septic is a hundred feet away because we have to, because it's a Title Five. So we kept the septic as far away as we could. And I didn't want to go too much further towards the property line on the other side because. We are not filling any wetlands and I don't want to encroach on the neighbor. I'm going to try to give them a little bit of privacy. So we, well, sent, we sent it as best as we could. Okay. When we were up there in January, um, right approximately in front of the house, we actually saw, we actually had water running right on top of the ground. Uh, that's very possible. And yeah, you know, we I mean, just that's, to... that's why it's built up. The septic is built up so much. Uh, We've got uh well let me take a look. I got I got groundwater, actual groundwater uh, models at 36 inches. So in January, you know, if it's snowing and melting and freezing, yeah, that's that's a very possible condition. But we we're grading it so that that won't that won't cause a problem. We've got everything built up. Right. So that kind of leads to question two: How many yards of fill are proposed? In the hundred foot buffer zone, yes, it looks like uh, well, we got to drive under, 
So it's that grade where the garage is, and then you've got two contour lines, which is two feet apart. Uh, there really isn't that that much. We got two feet of fill over the biggest area, and then it slopes up the, the side of the building. Um, I don't know if I let me get a calculator. I can give you a quick. Uh, that's about thirty by. 50 by 30 by 50 by 2 and by 27. There's probably 200 yards of material for this for the project, which okay. isn't that's a reasonable amount, you know, because you get the septic. Because we got to be four feet above groundwater with the bottom of our septic. That's what brings it up out of the ground. And then we want to gravity feed it. So that's why we lift the house up. We don't want to get into a pump. And then I've got a, a gradual slope going towards the low area. Okay. Uh, my next question is how many feet from the vegetated border of the wetlands are the trees and the brush being cut? Well, right near the driveway, they'll be cut. Like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll give it five feet from wetland flag number 13. And then the rest of them, uh, just that one, that one flag is the closest. Then it goes away. So we're, we're 20 feet, 15 to 20 feet that we don't have to touch anything. Okay. All right. And that area where that th flag number 13 was probably the spot we saw that road sand from, you know, years and years of, of the road dumping down into that low area. So we're above that. So we, we're gonna, he's gonna do as minimal tree cutting as possible because mainly it costs, it costs a lot. After it's cut, and then you have to loam and seed all the disturbed areas. So the, the more we keep natural, the better. All right, um, and that brings in the other question: the driveway. What are you doing to the driveway? Is it going to be tarred? Uh, Al, are you are you on? Yes, I believe. Can you hear me? Yep, yes. we can hear you. Okay, I didn't realize. I thought we were fourth in line, so I was trying to figure out how to get on. Um, <laughs> yes, the driveway will be tied. Uh, that's a that question of the, you know, the water coming off the uh, house and off the uh, other area. We just want to make sure that uh, no tire right, that doesn't wash in. Sure. Any wash in, yes. Yeah. Okay, anybody else have any questions? Amanda? 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 Al. <clears throat> Okay, so the tree, tree cutting is uh, limited to less than 50%, so we're all set with that one. Basal area, protect water quality function, watershed area. That, go, that, that should be done, am I correct? What was that, Are you asking Julian? I was asking either one of you. Uh, you're doing less than 50%. Of the oh, basal yes. area for cutting, am I correct? Well, yes. we're not. Yeah, we're not. We're not cutting anything in the wetlands at all. Zero. Okay. All right. So that's, a, that's that's a question I was asked. Uh, yeah. yeah. No. Okay. No. No. No cutting at all in the wetland. We're not touching any of the BVW. We're, we're protecting it all. Okay. Uh, George. Um. George. Yeah. Hang on. Should this house have uh, drainage put into those underground gabion things? No, this has a, it has a sub drain around the foundation, but we're not. It's a, it's a single family house, so we're 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 from the. I, I think you're talking about the roof roof runoff going into a. Well, into a I, I actually. actually my concern would be the sub drainage. Are you putting in a um, 
letting it run directly on top of the ground, or you're going to put it so there's a um, pit for it to go into a cement pit. You could you could put it's up to Al, but typically we bring it to daylight so that it always works. But he could put it into a riprap place to dump it and let it go into the ground there, and then it'll it'll just seep. That's that's totally fine. I, I think that's what we would prefer him. For him okay, to we do. could do that. Al, you understand what we're saying? Yeah, yeah. You say Just you bring want to it put into it like a, a, a dry well, like a dry well. A dry well, the dust sump of of stone, and just put it in, and let it. Yeah, because but make sure the pipe is is close to daylight because we don't want to have a it back. You don't want to come, yeah. You don't want to be in water. Right. No, we don't want to be in water, but we you know yeah. as long as you get the stone around the pipe so it doesn't go just go directly into the ground right sure right. I, I get what you're saying yeah you want to you want to leach the water so to speak <laughs> yes yes i do we'd appreciate that sure i'm actually trying to uh me and julie and i've been walking talking about changing the design to not even get so close to the wetlands too besides that too so i think we're going to accomplish that also okay so we're going to see new plans. No, no, <laughs> no, <Al. laughs> no. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna stay away from the wetlands, cut as few trees as we can, and that's what we're what we're trying to do. I mean, the yes. shape of the house might change a tiny bit, but it's not enough to warrant any. It's not getting bigger it'll yeah. just maybe it's it small the house right. is going to be a little smaller all right oh make sure that reflects it on the plan yeah yeah any changes yes any changes have to be on the plan okay okay there anybody else have any questions no nope. okay can i get a motion yeah, I motion to accept the NOI for lot eight on Carruth Road with the addition of a riprap outlet for roof runoff and any amended changes to be submitted in writing in the future. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Aye. So, so done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I, uh, all this paperwork will. Uh, I'll have what's her name, Laurie. We'll call you when it, when she has it ready. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Talk Bye. to you soon. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. Anybody else got anything to say? We have the Patriots Road. Oh my goodness gracious! We have something else. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, you other guys, I, here it is, just way on the other side of my table. Okay, what we have, uh, does everybody know about the Patriots Road, Brian Drury? We discussed it before, up by Drury Lane. Do you, any of you guys remember it? Okay. They any? didn't come with us, but do we need to go over a brief overview of what's happened so far? Nope. We're just okay. going to let you, uh, if you want to take this and do what you have to do with it and okay. see if either one of them want to work with you or when she gets appointed, she can work with you or whatever we want you want to do. Yes, I'll work okay. with them. I do think we need to um, approve as a board the enforcement order that we set. Yes. Um, just we formally do. in a public forum. A forum so forum. I motion to approve the enforcement order for... I, um, yeah. The yeah. Drury Lane here, slash Big News yeah. Road property. Yeah, I'll second that. Okay, all those. Okay, all those in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Okay. And I okay. do have two more things as a board um, that I would that I want to talk about quickly. First is there is a grant for dam removal in the deadline is July 31st. I've been in touch with the lady and she sent me all the paperwork and I would love to take point on this. I just want to know if you guys rather um, have it written for Crotty Ave, which is the old um, Otter River pool or Depot Pond, which is officially Baldwinville Water Supply Dam. 
Well, I would think we would rather do it up at the Depot Pond because that, if it breaks, it'll end up down by at least hot dog stand. Right. All right. I'll write it for that. And if we change our minds. Um, Unless you want to write it for Stony yeah. Bridge. Is there a dam at Stony Bridge? Uh, it was. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You, you weren't on the board when they closed that dam because no. it uh, messed up. The, now they want to put a two lane road in there, all the time. Nobody, they don't know what they want to do with it yet. Yeah. Uh, so at uh, least we know, at least Depot Pond keeps getting backed up and we're afraid of it failing. Right. So I'll write well, it I think for that. If, 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 if you, you want to work with them and get that taken care of, that'll be nice. I'm sure Laurie would appreciate it. And the second one is, I just got a message on Facebook. There's been a lot of dead bees, butterflies, and birds in the Back Bay area of Otter River. Um, I don't know what to do with that, but well, I, I'll tell you let something. me know. I, so. I be, I these people getting that termite person, I mean, the person with the uh, bees out there to display for the ticks to spray, because what happens is the birds in the area get on the lawns and they pass away. Right. That's about all we can do about it is find what, what, who's spraying what. And yeah. it's actually not a conservation issue, but it's an issue that should be brought up to somebody. I don't know who yet. Yeah, she, <laughs> um, her name is Jess. She is asking if she should contact the Board of Health or animal control. I don't think animal control is. No, right. I think the Board of Health would be the better, better of the two. And oh, like I, I say, it, if they're doing the um, spraying yeah. for the ticks and stuff right. the, and the mosquitoes, and that's what's happened to happen uh, three houses up from me last year. This year, he realized he right. didn't spray. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it's, we it's will work on educating the neighbors. Have to do the neighbors. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else that anybody wants to talk about, David? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, just your, right. your minutes. Okay. Yeah, we've already done the minutes. Okay. Um, okay, one more thing. Tomorrow night, we have two sidewalks. One is up at um, 15 Carruth Road. And the other one is on Oak Street in Baldwinville. Now, the guy called me from... Ruth Road, want to know if we can meet him at 4.15 instead of 4.30. It does not matter to me if anybody else can be up there. Okay. But um, is 4.15 okay rather than... I can do 4.15. Dave, I'm assuming Vinny can. Dave? 4.15? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I should be able to make that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... Vinny, when you come up the top of uh, uh, Brooks Village Road, Peruth Road is right there. It's the second house on the right. That's that's good. That's good. Thank you. Okay. So you I know. Do. So George, I see that Sean Grimley just signed on. Should we direct him to watch the recording on YouTube, maybe? Yeah. Uh, say hello. Hi, Sean. You're late. <laughs> John. Well, okay. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. All those in favor? Okay, thank you. Aye. 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 Okay, then we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Sounds good. Bye. Okay, Alrighty. take care.